Negroidism. They say we don't know our roots, can't travel back into time, what's the use? They say, and liken us to barbarians, gravel picking historians whose only use is to gather fruit, sometimes vine because they mirror our attributes like snake skin swine who plays primitive games without any use of a scientific mind. They say, treating us like stray rats that need to be extinguished, experimented upon, poked and probed, testing our foreign holes with DNA combinations, creating hybrid simulations of their perfect race. Is it skin I'm referring to? Because I'm black reading this to you. Just goes to show how fast assumptions make headway for the more ignorant judgments without asking the questions first. The who, what, and why, when others would simply like to deny things of a color isn't the problem. It's those thought patterns that simulate late today figures on bar graphs as our youth learns to figure charts and maps, which schools us to accept the color game as a foundation of superiority. I don't like Dick Gregory from the back of the bus. Please remember Benjamin Rush, a founding father of America, died in 1813, claimed black skin, a hereditary disease, and was possible to cure. I guess Obama's cured. Labeling it Negroidism, another ism, a mind state prison. So it's my fight with him, a dead man in his grave who takes his entire generations to adhere to his lethal psycho mumbo jumbo bullshit that had my grandparents shoveling leftover shit from a white man's lips. Blacks have inherited this disease. It causes them to be inferior. Their disorder should entitle them to a double portion of humanity offered. But from whose hand is this humanity being sacrificed from? And as quick as my tongue can lash words of hate, my breath sustains the conscious heartache for the psyche. Why can't other folks see? Things of race is not the enemy. I guess the fight is with me and how I choose to educate myself, love myself, while teaching other people to do the same. Thank you.